morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for uh, your coming. Today I'm uh, very happy to be here to uh, present something uh, interesting, hot topic about uh, return-oriented programming uh, exploit. And I hope that you uh, will find something uh, useful. My list is uh, not good, so <coughs> I will try my best. So the topic is uh, pilot already inside data review for ROP exploit. First of all, a bit about uh, myself. I am uh, Long Lee, a member of uh, VN Security, uh, Vietnamese uh, security uh, research group. And uh, I am also a uh, war game uh, and capture the flag. All right, good uh, morning, everyone. This is the mobile talk. Uh, You're here to with, listen to the, uh, the talk team, about uh, GSM baseband, ZT base jumping. From, uh, uh, let's give them all a hand. So, thank you. Back to the talk. Why this talk? Why uh, talking about something uh, more buffer overflow exploit? It's over 30 years old, the vulnerability, and uh, it seems that it's no more fun to uh, exploit buffer overflow under Linux. The reason is under modern Linux. Distribution today, the mitigation technique is getting mature and apply it, the buffer overflow is difficult. So the advanced protection technique to prevent buffer overflow on Linux, we can count at this system level is uh, non-executable. Uh, and as, and uh, Address by layout randomization, we we'll see later. And the third is uh, ASCII armor, address mapping. So, uh, exploit buffer of overflow on Linux is uh, no more fun. So, if uh, we can make the exploit work again under this protection, it will be, will be fun. And recently, the most advanced exploitation technique named return oriented programming to bypass NS, but it seems uh, useless under Linux. The reason is address by layout randomization and ASCII are more address mapping. So if we can make return oriented exploit work under Linux, it will be more fun. And so far, I didn't see any public tool about ROP exploit under Linux. So if we can have a tool, it may be useful for both researcher and the attacker. So what you will see in this presentation, so we will show a generic practical and reliable exploitation technique to exploit stuck by buffer overflow to bypass on the system level protection. Non-executable, address by layout randomization, ASCII armor. That uh, technique uh, name multi-state ROP exploitation. So under this talk, we will focus only on latest Linux on 32-bit uh, platform. So from now, we will only talk on 32-bit platform, but the idea and the technique can be extended to all the operating system or platform as well, as you see. And we will also show a proof of concept tool named ROPIMI, Return-Oriented Exploitation Make Easy with the practical uh, return-oriented gadget and some automation script that can help you to build the exploit quickly, easily. So what we will not include in this talk, if you are looking for return-oriented programming talk from the beginning to the end, 
may attend another talk in this conference also. But we will not talk about return-oriented programming. And we will also not talk about the uh, address by layout randomization implementation flaws or information leak like uh, uh, random generator bug or fog mask string bug. And we will not talk about the compilation protection, only the system level protection. We will not talk about the stack canary or stack protector. We will also not talk about the mandatory asset control. So it uh, is an application level, system level to block. So we will not talk about SC Linux, App Ammo, or something else. So the rest of this presentation, there will be three main parts. In the first part, I will uh, review some uh, background about uh, stack overflow and the mitigation technique, exploitation techniques. Then the main part is our multi-state ROB technique. Then the tool, and we, I will have some uh, demo about the tool. Something very old, the simple uh, vulnerable program. You can see here at the line of string copy function. So uh, string copy function is called without boundary checking and the stack will be overflow if the attacker input a lot of data. And we will use this simple program for our uh, demo. And you can see that even with this simple uh, vulnerable program, it will be difficult to exploit it under modern Linux distribution with on the protection enabled. So how stack overflow happen? The, the attacker input a lot of data that lot goes on the buffer side. So it call the uh, some uh, cell value on stack will be override here to uh, important note about the stack overflow. When the overflow happen, you, uh, the attacker can control the execution flow. So the cell EIP register and the attacker can control the stack pointer. That the overflow, so how about the mitigation technique? Here we have non-executable. That means uh, you cannot find any uh, memory pay that is writable and executable, so you later. That can be uh, implemented by uh, hardware and S uh, SD bit or via software emulation like uh, PAX or ESXU. The second is uh, address by uh, layout randomization. So on the uh, memory uh, region, include uh, stack, hip, uh, memory mapping, share library, uh, randomize at the runtime. And even the application bay, if, uh, if it is combined with the PIE option, but we will not talk about it here. And the last is the ASCII armor uh, address mapping. So the ASCII armor work at, it will relocate on the share library to an ASCII zone that is uh, 0 to uh, 16 megabyte zone. So on the library address, here, the most you uh, libc address will start with a noon byte. It will block the exploit return to libc exploit. And we will show you later. And uh, another protection at the compilation level. But we will not talk about it. Here, yeah. how uh, we can see how the NS. ASLR and ASCII uh, implemented on Linux. 
So uh, first, at the blue, you will see NX. So no memory pay, insert no memory pay with uh, it writable and executable. So if it writable like stack, it not executable. If it is executable like code, it is no writable. Then the ASLR uh, green, green light. So you see on the address will be randomized at runtime, including stack uh, address, heap address, and library address. And the ASCII ML, the rest one, you see on the array of the libc here, we start with a noon by. So the only uh, static zone here is the binary itself. If it is combined with the no PIA option, it's the purple one. So how about the uh, Linux ASLR implementation? And uh, how is it difficult to uh, bypass? Here we have the uh, share library, uh, MMAP, and HIP, and stack. So that on uh, feasible to uh, bypass with uh, brute forcing. But except the stack address, it is the most difficult to bypass because it is high uh, entropy randomness. It's about uh, 19 bit on Fedora 13 or 23 bit on Gentle Harden. So it's very difficult to bypass. Now we uh, will uh, review something about the exploitation technique, the most basic very old technique is uh, code injection, what happened in uh, 1990. So the attacker will uh, input a lot of data and override the cell uh, execution uh, pointer register value with the array turned to the, that point to the cell code on the stack. So, at the time it was developed, everything is started. Stack address is started. Executable. But now it's uh, no more work because with NS, stack is uh, non executable. So this technique is not work anymore. And even uh, without NS, if stack is executable but with uh, address by layout randomization enabled, it's still very difficult to uh, use this technique. But uh, one advantage of this technique is it can perform arbitrary computation. So uh, you can have cell code to do anything you want. You know, this is one of the target of the, the attacker. So they first turn the stack to be executable, then run the code injection. So to bypass NS, we have return to LIPC uh, technique. So in this technique, instead of return to the uh, cell code address, you return to a function in uh, LIPC, uh, usually a system function or exactly function. So it will bypass NS because it does uh, do not need the stack is executable. But it will be very difficult with the ASLR or ASCII armor, the reason. So you want to return to the system, so you have to know it address or get it because it's randomized. You have to locate the argument on the stack. Here is a string to uh, bin cell, and it will be difficult because it's randomized also. And there is also a noon by introduced in your call. If you want to call, multiple function, the chain rent, return to libc. So the next function you contain a noon by, so it will be dropped if the input drop at the noon by. It will be very difficult to make chain return to libc. 